I'm Smash! And I'm Axe, and you're watching POW Entertainment, where superheroes come to life. Again, wrestling fans, welcome to another edition of Inside the Ropes. That's POW Entertainment Inside the Ropes. And Skits, what a night we got in store. Slam Fest is in a book, and the feuds are heating up right here in POW Entertainment. It is true, Mr. Ricklow. For those who don't know, Mr. Ricklow, the hair extraordinaire, and I am Skits M. Jones, the prophet of POW Entertainment. And we are taking a look back at Slamfest. We are going to give you glimpses of each of the matches that took place at that big event at the Al Hattendorf Center in Elk Grove. Every singles title was on the line, not to mention that massive eight-man tag where we saw Axe and Smash of Demolition return to POW Entertainment. And what a, what a brawl that was, and I tell you what, Skits, Regional title, Eric Freedom, unbelievable. If you weren't there, you got to check it out on our on our uh, message board on our website. That little vignette that the Eric Freedom, I just you I've know lost what? Words. That was disgusting, despicable, distasteful. The actions of Eric Freedom have no place in professional wrestling. We will see a little bit more about what happened in that matchup. You're just jealous. Yes, I'm so jealous of that cereal-eating hippie. Other matches that took place, of course, the Queen of Pal title was on the line as Melanie Cruz, along with TaylorMade, went one-on-one -on -one with the cowgirl Nikki. And, and another thing, Skits, Ruthless Ramon, have we seen the last of him? When when do you expect him to return after that total beatdown by Forsaken? It is unclear what the future holds for Ruthless Ramon, even for me. However, that Even is for you, the prophet? Exactly. Even that is not the main story. The story is Forsaken and his actions not only against Ruthless Ramon, but against our world champion, Kanoa. Well, we'll see that in just a little bit of while, in a little while, Skits, but uh, why don't we get up to the ring? Let's now see some of these clips from Slamfest that took place at the El Hattendorf Center in El Grove Village.
with that, I am disgusted. There was no need to show such vulgarity here in front of this audience. That just shows what kind of individual Eric Freedom is. Tears Eric Freedom. Lim In athleticism, GQ. Look at that. Big shoulder tackle right off the top rope. Amazing. There's a reason. Whoa. He didn't get all of it, but it was enough to take her freedom down. She goes to the top rope one more time. What are we going to see here? Whoa, big frog splash. Just a few count. All about your hair. No, 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 no. Here it is. Here it is. No. Oh. Yeah, I have been a victim of that myself. That is a devastating maneuver. This is enough to put him away. Well, Eric Freedom, what is Freedom planning here? He's in the corner. He's in the ropes. Let him go. Leave him be. No. Oh, 
Cairo a little off guard. He might have been setting up for the bum rush. Decided to drop the elbow at the last minute. Rough crossing. Saw enough to break it up. Pump handle. Pump handle. Surprised that Trevor Blanchard's out here. That 
after his head being dunked in a, in a roll up, you know what? You know what, that is an equally despicable action. There have been a series of those taking place tonight. I, I am appalled at the direction. Wisely, Turbo gets that knee up. As they say, is fair play as Logan Scott puts that boot up. And picture perfect, showing why they were tag team champions working very well.
match, the decision had been made, and then XCOM, a fan, sticks his nose in again. If he wants to be involved, he should just get back in the ring. Mr. Rick Lowe, have a good night. to see all the action, keep an eye out at future live events for the DVD release. And speaking of DVDs, Wrestle Rage 8, now on DVD, you can pick it up at any of your events coming to an area near you. That was produced by Loose Shoe Productions. And of course, there are plenty of other POW events that are released on DVD right now. Check out the shows, pick them up. They're worth it, if for nothing else, than to hear my commentary. And speaking of shows coming up this Friday night, Power Entertainment returns to the Villa Park VFW. Start time, 8 o'clock. Make sure you're there. Two big title matches on the line. One of them, the World Championship. Canola puts the belt on the line as he faces one of his newest members and biggest men in the business, Forsaken. How will the flying Hawaiian fare against the beast that is forsaken? Also on the line, the POW television title. We will, of course, see that match here on Inside the Ropes as well. But you should be there live to check it out, and I recommend being there early. Last time we were in Villa Park, it was standing room only. With bumper to bumper, matches, belly to belly, shoulder to shoulder. With these two matches, plus more on the card. Will we be able to fit everyone into the venue? 
And how about the following night in Fox Lake? Almost forget about that. March 19th, Power Entertainment returns to the American Legion Hall, Fox Lake, bell time, 7 o'clock. Big tag team title match as Psychotic Rage, that's the Rage, Mitch Blake, Psychotic, Jimmy Blaze, defend their titles against the very two guys that they took it from, Black Iron and Trevor Blanchard. The mystery and the majesty were screwed out of their titles in Willowbrook when that goon ex-con stuck his nose in where it didn't belong. Let's see if the king of POW, Trevor Blanchard, and his teammate Black Iron can get their revenge. Not only that, Melanie Cruz has a lot on her mind with her ongoing issues with the cowgirl Nikki, but she will have to take a hiatus from that as she focuses on the former straight edge sweetheart and former WWE diva. That's the anti-diva, Serena. You better believe it. And Melanie Cruz is certainly going to have her hands full with this gal. You better believe it. Serena, one of my all-time favorites right here at Powell Entertainment, coming up this Saturday night. I think you should try out her haircut, Rick Lowe. It might look good on you. That is all the time Bam. that we have for this edition of Inside the Ropes. Don't forget to check out powentertainment.com where superheroes come to life. Check out our YouTube and look us up on Facebook. I am Mr. Riccolo. And I am Skits Jones. See you next week.